Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Now, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for supporting my channel. If you had just ran across one of my videos and you decided to watch my channel, thank you so much. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We're always posting over here, take a chance on a new YouTuber. Now, tonight, y'all, I made some smothered pork chops with mashed cheddar gravy and some butter beans. Oh, yeah, some southern butter beans. If y'all want me to post the butter bean recipe, just let me know, and I will get it up for you. These pork chops were so good, and they were nice and tender. Now, I smothered these this time the same way that I did my smothered chicken, um, my lazy, easy way smothered chicken. Um, if you haven't seen that video, it is um, listed uh, down and with the rest of my videos and my little playlist thing, I think is what it's called. And um, you can find it there and watch that one. Now, I did change this one up a little bit because, you know, I was using pork chops this time. So, um, and I usually, whenever I make like smothered pork chops this way, beforehand, I will make me some pork broth. Um, but I wasn't able to do that this time, so I just used beef broth. And I, I'm telling you, it it turned out amazing fantastic now while i'm just sitting here you know stuff in my face <laughs> mama was hungry sorry but um yeah i hope y'all give this a recipe a try and if y'all like it please let me know in the comment section down below okay always look forward to hearing from y'all um well i didn't think i made it this long but i guess i did Oh, well, I'll just keep um, finding something to talk about. And no, they weren't overcooked and they weren't dried out. That is the whole reason for smothering them. And I didn't fry them this time. I just did on my easy, lazy way because you just pop it in the oven or in the slow cooker. I pop mine in the oven and I'll let it go for about an hour and a half. Just, you know, let them fly and die because I did have, end up have a lot of pork chops. Um, because I am, I did make two uh two containers um one was for us to have for dinner one was for me to take to work for a pot like that we were doing so um yeah this was really good really good this this one's one of my husband's favorites you can you don't have to use green peppers and onions you can use mushrooms whatever you have on hand all right first things first here we go you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees you're going to want to wash your pork chops now i'm we're going to season them with cajun seasoning garlic powder onion powder um pepper and that's about it now heat up uh, some oil in a pan and we are going to sear them off now this is the part that is going that is uh, important here for my lazy um smothered pork chop recipe this part is important you want to try to uh get the color on your pork chops sear them up really 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 good um i could have went a little bit darker with mine but i was happy with that color uh some people like them like them like the color like they like the color of the roux um i didn't want mine that uh that dark i liked them a little bit brown like where they were and you'll see it a little bit further up in the video. Now, we are going to sear both sides of these bad boys, okay? And um, you're going to want to sear both sides of them. Here we go. We're about to flip them around here in a little bit. And you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. We'll see if they're not ready yet. I was just checking on them. <laughs> now, um, if you let yours get a little bit dark, they're not burnt. They're, they just got character to them look how pretty they are oh if your ledgers get a little bit darker it's not burnt it's got character it's fine it's just the seasonings getting brown you're going to want to do that to all your pork chops now add a little bit of more oil in your pan and you're going to want to put in your bell peppers first um when i top mine pork chops with my bell peppers they're still a little crunchy because i didn't want them to like disappear you know whenever i put them on top of my pork chops and um they disappear into like the rest of the stuff that we're going to add in so um i just sauteed my pork chops i mean my pork chops i just sauteed my bell peppers until um they started getting a little translucent color before i added in my onions 
okay? And you don't necessarily have to use these. You can use onions and mushrooms, onions and tomatoes, whatever you have on hand. Green beans, go ahead. See? I only use a quarter of onion. I use two bell peppers and a quarter of an onion because for some unknown reason, somebody moved my onions and I couldn't find them. And I was like, well, shoot, I thought I was out, but I wasn't. So, my onions will start to, um, I'll let those get, go a little bit more because, um, I don't like raw, no, nobody in my ha house except for my son likes raw onions. Me and my husband are like really, really cooked onions, so they almost disappear, so we gotta look at them. Now, all the same seasonings you're gonna want that you added to your pork chops, you're gonna want to add it to your vegetable mixture here. And just keep moving them around, let them saute right on up okay now once you get your vegetables to where you like them if you like them limp as limp then you do it i went in with a family size cream of mushroom and soup but remember i'm doing two pans so if you only have four or six if you have four i would just use um one regular can if you have six then this one would make enough gravy trust trust well not gravy but you know enough broth now I just um, put a little bit, I filled my can halfway up with some water just to get the rest of the stuff down at the bottom. Now we are going to mix, mix, mix in that cream of mushroom soup. Now see when I added the water, see it's starting to turn that right color. See, uh-huh, see there? That's the right color that you are looking for, okay? We're getting all that find, that more at the bottom of that pan is what you're doing and that is going to give you the color that you are looking for okay <laughs> now um okay i don't know how i wanted mine a little bit thinner because i was doing two pans so i did add in see it's all mixed in see how thick it is nice and thick now if i was doing one pan that's the thickness that i'd be looking for because your pork chops are going to finish cooking in here and the juices from the pork chops is going to thin it out for you but since i'm doing two i add a little bit more water and i did another tablespoon of beef bouillon now if you don't have beef you can use chicken that will be fine okay i added in a tablespoon and a half of beef bouillon and let me tell you mm, this stuff was so, so good. We're going to have it again for dinner tonight. So, yes, yes, yes. Not wasting nothing, okay? Now, once you get all your pork chops seared up, you are going to want to um, just pour it over your pork chops. Now, I'm just ladling because I have to split between two containers. But if you have one container because you're lucky enough to only cook for your family today or whatever day you plan on making this, you're just going to turn that skillet right over and let all that juice, let all that stuff come out on top of those pork chops. Okay? Um, Depending on the thickness of your pork chops to however long you want to cook it. Now, I took me a little nap and um an hour and a half later and i tell you what they were good to go and they were nice and moist and they were tender like i barely had to put any pressure with my fork to get it apart okay y'all so i'm just splitting up my mixture between both of my pans of pork chops now here i am just putting foil over both of them so we can get ready to stick them in the oven 350 degrees for an hour and a half is what I did. You know your oven better than I know your oven. So if your oven cooks a little bit faster, um, then you sh then you know you'll be done a little bit quicker. Um, my oven is I'm still getting used to it. I haven't used it all that much, but an hour and a half and it was fine. Like it was awesome. I was thinking, oh no, because I fell asleep, <laughs> that it was gonna be like burnt to the bottom of the pan, but it was not. Now here I am just putting it into the oven. One pan in, and then we're gonna put a two pan in. Oh, there it is, two pan in. We're gonna shut the door, and now we're gonna see what it looks like when it's coming out. Now when you take it out of the oven, I let mine set for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, just so the pork chops can, you know, absorb some more of the juices here. Now, when I tell you that this stuff was so good, it was so good, y'all. Now, here I am getting ready to 
make my plate and tear it up. I tell you, it was so good. It was really good. Really, yes, amazing. For something that was quick, uh, for something that was quick and as easy as it was, oh, I'm, I'm telling you, it was amazing. Now I'm getting ready to eat it on up. Yeah, you're going to see me eat again. Alright guys, I hope y'all enjoyed my video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. See y'all later.